fun open here. It's uh, what's on Paul's plate. And our first ever guest, when it uh, comes to our, our nice little dish here, is our good buddy Vince. Rhythm and Q Barbecue. Vince, high five. It is so good to see you, buddy. Look good at to you. See you. Oh, happy Labor Day, too, by the way. Oh, thank you. Back at you. You know, uh, we mentioned this is probably the best time to uh, provide everybody with a little barbecuing because, well, it's cooler out. Do you have any yeah. advice for folks who are trying to barbecue in a heat index of 110 degrees? I think you need to stay properly hydrated. <laughs> Drink plenty of liquids. Plenty of liquids of your choice. Okay, of your choice. I like that. I like that. Well, Alexa, your wife is here. A big thank you. You know, I emailed you guys on Friday. Do you think you could spend Labor Day with us? And you guys have won so many awards here. And look, take a look at the trophies here of uh, just showing how much uh, these guys love barbecuing. They're, they're known for their brisket they're known for great stuff and you guys are actually heading to texas for a, a big national competition as a matter of fact we are on the 15th of september we're going to be at the houston hot sauce show competing in the best ribs in america challenge what? which is being put on by chili pepper magazine wow and uh, alexa are you uh, impressed how your life has turned traveling around uh, the country with all these uh, great barbecue competitions you know it's something we never really expected when we started out we thought gee this would be something you know fun to go do and and hang out with all the people that do it. We had no idea it was ever going to go anywhere that we were ever going to turn out to be reasonably competent at it. Well, I can't wait to uh, <laughs> can't wait to uh, show off what you're cooking here. And let's okay. uh, give everybody some advice. Today we're talking ribs. Right. And uh, we've got some ribs on our wonderful grill here in today's patio outdoor studio. And yeah, tell us more about this. It's all about the rub, right? These are back ribs, okay. and they have been rubbed, they have been smoked, and now what we're doing is finishing them. Oh. Uh, they've been cooked till they're tender, and what we're going to do now is put a little sauce on them. This is something you do at the last minute. What's what type we do of sauce in competition? Is that? Oh, this is our world championship sauce. Oh. This is the sauce that uh, we won the world championship with at the Jack Daniels Invitational Barbecue in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Look at this. Is it nerve wracking in these competitions uh, with all the competitors in the distance? Are you always trying to check out what they're doing? You know, Paul, no matter how many times we've done this, every single competition, we feel like, okay, the pressure's on, because it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, what matters is what you do that day, because okay. you've got a different set of judges, a different set of uh, people looking at the meat and tasting it, and you know, your record doesn't show up in a blind turn-in box. Mm. And how can you tell the ribs are done? Well, typically, you notice how you've got pullback here okay. across the bone, that's a sign. Also, you're gonna be able to wiggle, if I can, Okay, get in here. there. Get in there. You, yep. see, you can kind of wiggle and you see how the meat's sort oh, okay. of starting to separate there. Yeah. That's a good sign. Another simple thing to do is to take a toothpick and when you can push it down in between the, the, the when you can push it into the meat between the two bones without a lot of resistance, that's when you know they're going to be tender. That actually is a really good tip. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. I can't wait for your reality show when this is going to happen. You remember Vince and Alexa here. Okay, we've got our taste testers here, and it's all about the uh, side dishes. And Alexa, tell us what we got for side dishes here. You know, this is just some very, very simple stuff. We've got some bacon, horseradish, potato salad. We've got, you know, of course, the fabulous grilled corn. There's the ribs, which are the center of it all. And, you know, there's some fresh fruit. There's some lemonade and beer. There's some, <laughs> you know, a, a fresh fruit tart, you know, just to keep some of the stuff on the lighter side. Because, I love of course, it. when when you're going, here, let's pass this over to the crew here. When you're going crazy on ribs, you got to keep the rest of it a little lighter. Yes, you do, right? Can right? we dive in and try one of these? Go for it. Come on. Pat McReynolds, everybody, is going to... Oh, you even sliced them for us. Nice. Katie, here's your lemonade. And Pat, I'll pass this off to you. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. We're going to see if it thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Well, Vince, Alexa, best of luck with this upcoming competition. You better contact us and let us know, uh, you know, where you guys came out. I want one of these big trophies and for you guys. you'll okay. be able to see it on our website, rhythmandq.com. There it is, rhythmandq.com. We're going to have a link on our website as well. We're also a little on later Facebook. Today. Oh, on slow Rhythm and Facebook. Q on Facebook. And I'm looking for that reality show. We got more of the CBS 5 Morning News. Oh, look at Pat McReynolds as we head to break. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Delish.